People once believed that when someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes, just sometimes, the crow could bring that soul back to put the wrong things right. Gasoline, I smell. <laughs> Victims, aren't we all? I'm Vince Weston, and I figured it was about time I did an update, um, <laughs> since it's been a while, uh, on what a, my Halloween build here of the crow. Um, but first, I want to point out this. Uh, Steve, the model car minion, was really nice and sent me his postcard. He even wrote a little note on the bottom. And, I mean, it's a really great postcard, and it's going to get a nice spot here somewhere right on my right on my desk so that that being said I have been doing a lot of work and as you can see really nothing on the figure uh, I mean he's basically at the stage of needing paint so you know that's uh, where he's at uh, I haven't gotten any further with him than that. What I've been doing is a lot of scratch building, <laughs> as you can kind of see there in the background. And I'll explain all this as, as I get through this, hopefully not taking too long. Uh, first, I had this uh, 8x10 uh, piece of plywood. And um, it's, I guess it's eighth inch, quarter inch, something like that. I don't know, I got it at work. It was from packing material for uh, something or other that we got at work. And uh, following uh, Chris Cortell's uh, methodology that he uses, used on his um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I basically just took a pencil and drew the boards in and then I used some uh, brown uh, acrylic I don't even remember exactly which color it was it was a pretty dark color because I wanted this to look dark and dirty and old and uh, basically stained it uh, I do need to still seal this uh, probably with some dull coat but I'm holding off on that until I get uh, I'm thinking I'm going to put it in an 8x10 frame so it'll add a little more weight and as I explain the back window you'll understand why I'm looking for some weight okay now back here this is my window now basically this is just well it's probably a, a three and a half gallon pail uh, that I cut off Let's see if I can do this without to about, uh, I guess it's about four or five inches um, with a jigsaw, matter of fact. And um, then I've been working on doing the inside uh, of the window frame itself. I know this is going to roll around, but anyway. Um, yeah, maybe I can do it like that. Okay, so once again from work. I uh, got this, which is, it basically it was about a two-inch strip. I believe it's vinyl, if I'm not mistaken. It's some sort of soft kind of plastic. And once again with a jigsaw, I cut it down to the widths I wanted. Um, 
there's like two that are about three quarters and then there's about three strips that are um, three eighths somewhere in that general vicinity anyway so that that's that and what I did was I put them inside as this rolls around inside the uh, let's see if I can get a close up here inside the bucket and built up a little frame here to, to, to give it a little more thickness and then indent it a little further as you can kind of see there I hope I'm not sure how well that's showing up but anyway and then set that in um, the top layer itself is actually thinner than the rest and that's because I'm going to put acetate in as the glass and I want it to have a lip there for something to glue to. Uh, the next thing uh, led to huge amounts of mathematics <laughs> was trying to get uh, the proper six points. Let's see if I can get that at an angle. That might show. It's an awful lot of white on white. Um, and you can see I've got little marks here. I eventually got it figured out. Um, the outer window has six, and then the inner window, the, the spines will have uh, actually five. So I wanted to get the 30 degree marks that I needed for both of those. So I've got that all lined up. Uh, the second set is about 30 degrees off from it. So, that was that. The next thing I did was I took some tubing, and this is still isn't, uh, it's a square uh, tube. I think it's, uh, what's their faces? Evergreen tubing. And I made myself a circle. I cut it down to, whoops, where are we? There we are. I cut it down to make, uh, you know, or to make the size diameter I need. It's not quite 100% round at this point. I need to work it a little bit more. But that'll fit in here somewhere once I get it round. And I'll trim off those pieces and then add the next six and then I can add the acetate. And, um, I will be adding a wall around this to, to keep it from rolling and so it can sit up. And then the final touch will be, uh, I bought this at uh, Hobby Lobby, it's Silly Winks Foam Sheets. There you go. This is the three millimeter. And uh, I'll cut out my circle and place that behind to have a black backdrop. And once I get that all done, I'll do my, my electrical lighting. Um, I actually bought little fake Halloween votives and they, they flicker. Of course it's not going to flicker very fast now but and it looks brighter than it actually is on camera and that'll sit inside there. Uh, I'm probably going to drill a hole through so and once it's in the dark or darker and this is all painted black on the inside it'll give a little light to that. So, that's where I'm at, and I'm sticking to that story, <laughs> as I always say. Um, and uh, so next up, uh, like I said, i got to finish up the window. I've got trimming to do on these uh, to get the inner circle. First got to get the inner circle around. Of course, I don't have anything that's that size. Uh, it's about nine and three quarter inches. By the way, this this opening is almost twelve inches across. But to get the scale right for behind uh, Eric, that's kind of where we'll be at when, once I get it. But uh, you know, it'll have. Whoop, partial walls. It'll have walls um, 
<laughs> there, he's supposed to be pointing at you. Anyway, it'll have walls uh, around the sides once again to fill in along the bottoms and also to get it to stand up square. So, once again, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm planning to go. And uh, we'll see how soon I can get there. Uh, I know Halloween is approaching. Um, maybe this weekend I can maybe get some paint on uh, Eric here. And uh, get started with that. And finish out that window. Alright, so... I'm approaching 10 minutes of saying not much, but I have been working on it. I have made some progress, it looks like. And uh, we'll see you on the other side <laughs> in my next, uh, my next uh, video. So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.